Welcome back, friends. Today, we're doing something a little different. It's day 18 of the quarantine. I'm going to go all the way to my exotic patio, otherwise known as Playa del Balcony, um, here in the River District. Just wanted to talk about how things are going, um, obviously, with you, with myself how things are going around here, you know, all those things. So I'm just going to ramble on for a couple of minutes. Hopefully it's uh, not too much. As you can see, personal grooming has kind of fallen by the wayside. <laughs> um, yeah, what is there to say about that? My razor is collecting dust, and that's the way it's going to stay until it's all said and done. We're going to see how gross this bad boy gets. I had no idea there was so much ginger and blonde and splotchiness in my beard. I'm going to wear it as a badge of honor or maybe a cone of shame. I'm not sure yet. Depends what Becca thinks. But I wanted to talk about what's going on, how we're handling it, and what we can do to make this better. I'm really, really fortunate. Just before this all came down, we moved from a small one-bedroom apartment in a really funky area of Vancouver to the other side of Vancouver, down on the, on the Fraser River. I'll give you a little tour shortly of the Fraser, not of our apartment, because, nah, you got to be invited for that. Um, yeah. We're getting by. We're doing well. Honestly, all things considered, Becca's working from home. I have been laid off. Uh, from my job now for going on three weeks, just about three weeks. And so, of course, you tend to go a little stir-crazy and a little loopy, but we're very lucky. We live right on the river, so we've got a really beautiful view. We've got plenty of room for all of us, uh, Becca and I and the three cats. And right outside our place, we've got a walking trail. Everyone is usually pretty darn good at keeping their distance, for the most part, there's been a couple of exceptions. So, you know, everyone, do, everyone does really have to keep in mind just how important it is to keep doing what we're doing, to keep our social distancing. And I know for a lot of people, especially the extroverts, you're all kind of going nuts right now. For me, I was built for this. I enjoy the downtime, I enjoy the quiet time, I enjoy living in my own head a bit, maybe a bit too much, but I really enjoy it. I've had a chance to be creative, be goofy, be loopy, and deal with all the ups and downs and all the trials and tribulations that are currently happening. We've got enough space, we've got enough food, we've got enough wine, at times. <laughs> Um, no, we're, we're good. Uh, today was like spring cleaning around here, cleaning up our patio and everything else. And, you know, it's annoying when you do it, but then it gets done. And actually, it kind of looks pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I was cleaning the bathrooms today. Good times. The recycling was taken out. Compost was taken out. Stuff was taken down the storage. You know, living the dream. I know how lucky I am. I really do appreciate it. We're healthy. Most of my friends are healthy. One or two have actually contracted COVID-19, and it's not pleasant. I have friends who are working front lines in healthcare. It is not pleasant. I saw some footage today of one of the hospitals behind the scenes kind of thing in, in New York, and it was devastating. I can't show what I saw out of respect, um, but it was, it was really painful. It was really crushing. Um, I can't go into any more detail than that. I'm helping Becca produce uh, some online footage and on online product for her church, uh, First Lutheran of Vancouver. So that's been kind of cool and fun, just a little side, side giggy stuff to keep me, keep my hands busy and keep me out of trouble. We've been doing a bunch of walking. Um, 
Again, luckily we've got the walking path right in front of our place. Um, only going out once or twice a week for provisions, be it groceries or anything else. Becca, luckily enough, can do most of her work from home. So she's, she's able to talk with a lot of her parishioners by phone, um, do video conferencing as, with something that I had never heard of a month ago, being Zoom. Apparently it's all the rage. Or rage-inducing, depending on who you talk to. I am missing some of the, the, the TV stuff, the late night stuff, but at the same time, the, the production at home has been really interesting. Um, haven't been reading quite as much as I should have. I've definitely been eating more than I should have, or should be. And, well, a little glass of rosé or cab from time to time seems to fall into my hand as well. But that's it. I just want to reach out to you guys and tell you all my friends and family that are doing the right thing, please continue everything you're doing. Your social distancing, looking out for others, reaching out to others, whether you're just offering support or you're asking for help. Please keep doing all of those things. Um, watching, watching Dr. Bonnie Henry every day um, with, with uh, Minister Dix, D-I-X, not, not not the other one, um, has been really informative. And I find a lot of people are watching this. And I have to give a special shout out to the sign, sign language interpreter, uh, Nigel. He is amazing. He makes everything. He's getting the message across, but he's also really entertaining at the same time. So that's, that's mad props to him. I think he's going to become kind of a star. Um, yeah. Honestly, I've been watching the Prime Minister Trudeau every morning. And then, of course, we're keeping in touch with the family uh, down in the States and friends and family over in the UK, seeing how everyone else is doing over there. And I think that's why I keep going back to wanting to say, just keep what you're doing, British Columbia. All you folks around here, I know it sucks. I know your kids are at home. I know you're homeschooling. I, I've got mad, mad respect for you. Really, I do. But what you're doing is vitally important to the well-being of tens of thousands of people. You may not feel the impact of getting sick uh, directly. You may not catch the coronavirus. But I guarantee that others near you run a really, really high risk. It must be spring, because I can hear my neighbor's uh, landscaper with a leaf blower. In April. How many leaves are there in April? Come on. I'm just kind of rambling, but I think that's the right thing to do today. Now, for my friends, you know who you are. My family, you know who you are, that are working frontline, whether it is direct in healthcare, whether it is in support, front lines day-to-day -day life assistance, assisted living facilities, um, care facilities for those who are not seniors as well, if you know what I mean. Um, those that are emergency responders, thank you, all of you. I can't convey my gratitude to you. To those who are working retail, driving truck, delivering food, working in kitchens, or restaurants that are, are only able to do either delivery or, or takeout. I've got incredible respect for you. And thank you again, because we all get tired of our own cooking. That's how privileged most of us are. Thank you all for everything you're doing and keeping the machine going while we hunker down and, and try and get through this and get past this as quickly as possible. For those of you who think this does not apply to you, any part of the conversation, please get over yourself. You are no more important than society. Please think about others. I implore you. To my neighbors in the complex, if you end up finding me on here, 
You've been great reaching out to each other, offering assistance, asking for help, making sure that everyone's got safe distance, that deliveries are received. It's all fantastic. You've done an amazing job. To my wife, Becca, thank you for tolerating your wacky husband. Just thank you for putting up with me during this time. And the cats. The stinky, evil, bossy, yelly, needy. Did I say bossy, yelly, and needy? Because they're all bossy, yelly, needy, and smelly. I love them all. But I'm a little sick of them. Don't tell them that because they'll cut me in my sleep. No, really. Yeah, that's it right now. Thank you all. If you need anything, if you need someone to talk to you, need some assistance, whatever it takes, reach out to me as well. I know this is a different video than what I've been trying to create entertainment-wise, but I think I might actually be just doing this for me. Thank you all. Thank you to my friends. Thank you to my coworkers, my family, my loved ones. Thank you guys, and stay the course. We'll talk soon, okay?